They tell me my orgasm is a myth, that a woman does not ejaculate, that she can't come as much as a man, and if she claims to, she's lying. Or else she must be mistaking her ecstasy for her piss. Because it is not possible for a woman to come like that. Female ejaculation serves no purpose, it brings no life, it spreads no seed, it ends no act. There is no place for ejaculation in the female anatomy. Evolution has gotten rid of all of her unnecessary parts. The only things left to go are the appendix and the clitoris. Scientists with their microscopes between our legs, examining our drippings and petri dishes, dictating, it is not possible, there is no proof. All experiments have been inconclusive. Women bound to cold tables, naked as a plucked mockingbird. Electro pincers clipped to her clitoris, flinching from the sting of electric shock and demanded to sing. What a wonder some woman couldn't come in a laboratory. When we can't even come in the soft, warm darkness of the arms of someone we love, so many women already feel dissected in their own beds before ever touching lab equipment. The first time I flooded the expanse of a mattress with my orgasm, it felt like my body crying in relief. All the memories wound in my muscles of ripping open to let someone inside of me, of agonizing over my body's failure to perform its most primal function without bleeding, of doctors inspecting my black and blue insides and telling me, you must just not be getting wet enough. These memories receded deeper and deeper into me until they all just flowed out in a climax as high as a tsunami's crest. My problem has never been getting wet enough. I had never been so greedy as to wish for pleasure. I only wanted to be rid of the tearing pain, so my orgasm was a banquet when I was only asking for enough to ease my hunger. It felt so good to slide my fingers over my cum instead of my own blood. But as soon as I tried to savor my satisfaction, you denied my feast, said female ejaculation doesn't exist. Science has always tried to keep a sexual woman starving. We have always been asked to stand as bodies of proof against ourselves. A doctor's testimony of how wet a woman was after being raped was as good as a gavel screaming she asked for it. Experimentation on female flesh in Salem made sure she would either drown an innocent woman or burn a witch. Either way, that siren would ever sing temptations again. Mm. Now our orgasm either doesn't exist or it simply piss myths. Never get to write our own stories. The G-spot, still denied by many entirely, was named after the Columbus who discovered it. The spaces of our own bodies only become real once they have been mapped out in data, centuries after they have been loved by the curious fingers of her own or a lover's touch. So until our world learns to legitimize a woman's experience from her voice instead of her test results, I will be your paper mache volcano. I will erupt warm and wet and reliable as vinegar and baking soda, but I will need dirty words in my ear and warm breath on my neck and a trust in myself that what is about to happen is beautiful and pure and only a myth to those who deny a woman's pleasure and fear the stories we will write about them.